So I got this comment from the official Zeitgeist Movement channel under an original Zeitgeist Movement video I made. This person is under the impression I'm spamming when this comment is under my own original Zeitgeist Movement video that describes what the Zeitgeist Movement is. It's not spam at all. The idea of the Zeitgeist Movement I thought was to actually spread the ideas of the Zeitgeist Movement and a resource-based economy so people come across the ideas. This is why I don't actually support the Zeitgeist Movement anymore, and I made my own version of the Zeitgeist Movement. The Social Atmosphere Movement An open-source version of the Zeitgeist Movement which advocates a resource-based economy independent of the Zeitgeist Movement label. The minute you officialize something, it makes it uncool. Why? Because then it's a brand that you must protect instead of promoting the ideas. This is what the anonymous video about the Zeitgeist movement warned about. The social atmosphere movement is about spreading ideas and it doesn't care about a label. That is why I remade the resource-based economy introduction video myself. Because if you re-upload Zeitgeist movement videos, they will be taken down for copyright infringement. Which is still ironic since, the Zeitgeist movement is meant to be a peace and love-based movement but they will shut you down for copyright infringement for actually spreading the movement. This does make the Zeitgeist movement cult-like. I have no malicious intent that's just a lie. All I was doing was promoting the Zeitgeist movement, independently of Peter Joseph's full control, yet it turns out the rumors of Peter Joseph being the leader of the movement are true if he can't stand people promoting the ideas of the Zeitgeist movement and the Venus Project independent of him. Regarding the harassment comment, I left a comment on the official Zeitgeist movement channel warning people that if you re-upload Zeitgeist movement videos Peter Joseph might take them down for copyright infringement. Basically I think Zeitgeist movement information should be free, like the philosophy of the group Anonymous. Regarding being a troll, trolling is an art. Peter Joseph knew for example he was trolling with his first Zeitgeist film, that it would stir up religious people saying Jesus is a copy of Horace. And again, he knew he was trolling free market advocates by debunking the market social atmosphere in his follow-up films. Regarding my activism, I've put up Zeitgeist movement flyers and made videos promoting the movement to stir people up because yes trolling is fun, doing art is fun. The Zeitgeist movement is meant to be advocated by real people, it's not meant to be an official business. It's meant to be fun. This comment is actually trolling itself by saying it's really pathetic and I need therapeutic help and so forth. It's kind of like saying, Oh I'm this big important YouTube channel and smaller unofficial YouTube channels that either support or are sympathetic towards the Zeitgeist movement are just pathetic. If you don't want people supporting the Zeitgeist movement's train of thought, why even bother making the Zeitgeist movement and posting all those Zeitgeist movement lectures and films? I mean, why are you crying to me? I took all the Zeitgeist movement videos not owned by the so-called official Zeitgeist movement down. That's not good enough it seems. For some reason Peter Joseph doesn't like any independent Zeitgeist videos that support the Zeitgeist movement because it's not under his full control. It seems he wants a monopoly. My YouTube channels are tiny in comparison, but it seems he feels threatened by any independent advocation of the Zeitgeist movement's train of thought that is not under his full control. This is just more attempts at punching down, so to speak. Again the video you are calling spam is in support of the Zeitgeist movement's train of thought. Regarding copyright, which by the way I don't even agree with the concept of copyright, but you can't copyright a train of thought. The therapeutic help comment is especially insulting, because to be normal in this society is to be fucked up. A normie consumer that is addicted to worldly things like video games, cigarettes, alcohol and so forth because they want to relieve the stress of being in a competitive market society. A therapist doesn't care about the social atmosphere that creates people's problems, in fact they hope society only gets worse because that will make them more money. Quoting Zeitgeist moving forward, the more unhealthy people, the better the economy. The health system is paradoxical, they want to heal people but they want to make money. Anyway these are just my thoughts on the matter. If you'd like to join the social atmosphere movement watch the introduction to a resource-based economy video linked in the description.